Uh, uh, how? <laughs> um, we did have a bearded lady, but, but she huh? got the cut, so I mean... <laughs> you played, you could pretend! Hey there, so Randall here. Fortunately, Carol can't make it out this evening. She has a work thing that's going on today. It is Friday night. It's what I'm gonna call Frightful Friday. I did this uh, last year where I tried to do both parks in one night, but today I'm gonna try and do all 12 houses between Fright Fest at Six Flags Fiesta Texas and Hall Scream at SeaWorld San Antonio. I'm gonna try and get those done in one night see if it's possible and they are checking ids at the entrance here come and get my wristband here well, i'm just walking around right now the house is I don't know if they've started yet. They start at six o'clock. It is a couple minutes beforehand. Yeah, no attendance out here yet. So apparently this does glow in the dark. It's a nice Hawkins High School shirt. And it is $24. It's a green one if you want that. Same price. There's some nice cups here. Some Stranger Things fire looking shirts. It says Hellfire Club on the side. And these are also, oh no, these are 20. And these ones, they're slightly different than the one actually I have. There is no price on them though. Unfortunately, I would guess, let's see. Yeah, all the, I don't like when they cut off the tag. I don't think it would be that much. My guess would be $30 at most. We also have another Stranger Things shirt over here for, I think it's 25. Yeah, $24.99. So the houses should start here pretty soon. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it in this order. House of Hoogan, Trapped, Stranger Things, if possible, Twisted, The Conjuring, and then do Slaughterhouse, catch the arrival, and then run to SeaWorld from there, because SeaWorld actually starts at seven. So it'll give me time, but they close a little bit early. They close at 10. So we'll see if it's possible to do all houses in one night between both parks. So I got trapped in House of Hoogan Hogan, whatever it's called, out of the way. Actually, didn't have a wait with House of Hoogan, but that was because we were waiting for it to open. I'm making my way to like Stranger Things because there's like no line here. Yes, all right, this is what I was hoping for on a Friday. Now, the one thing is I can't take my, my, uh, this thing, whatever I'm recording in, I can't take it into the house, so I gotta put it up, put it in my pocket before I go in. But other than that, that's fine. So Stranger Things done, but now I'm on to Twisted. Can't tell if that's a person or someone just a scare actor. <laughs> Starting to see some of the fog come out, but I got Twisted, Trapped, House of Hoogan, and Stranger Things out of the way. Now I'm making my way to where the arrival is. I got 30 minutes to get The Conjuring and Slaughterhouse out of the way, but there's the fog.
So, care if I've talked about Twisted and Stranger Things. Both good. Stranger Things, the same thing that I said last week. They're missing kind of the main cast. But overall, I think it's a good house. A nice jump into the IPs. Uh, hope that they continue to do that. And Twisted, it's a great original house. Uh, I did that one alone by myself, and so all the scare actors were focused on me. And even the, I was pretty sure that guy at the beginning was uh, fake, and I was correct after the, the girl there um, explained the instructions to me. But like I said, 30 minutes to get the Conjuring in Slaughterhouse out of the way, so I'm gonna go quickly do that and then catch the arrival. Dang, there is like no one lined up right now for their arrival. That's all right, in about 10 minutes it'll be filled up. And looks like there is no line for the Conjuring either. All right, gonna get the Conjuring out of the way. And then Slaughterhouse, and I'll be done with all the houses here before the arrival. All right, so I got all six houses out of the way. Um, and it's, what time is it? 6.50, so I got 10 minutes, or nine minutes to wait for their arrival. So I made really good time after their arrival. I'm gonna head on over to SeaWorld. First, I'm gonna get some water. I haven't had much water so far since I've been here. The Conjuring was great. They scared the, oh, they scared me so bad on that one. Just for reference, and The Conjuring, I was alone. And then I did the Slaughterer House, which I went in there with another group, uh, another couple. They made me go in front of them and once again feel like the actor's like no somehow that uh, you're making someone go in front of them so they kind of focus on the person behind you also i mean i mean she was screaming the whole time so but getting ready for the arrival then you get some water and then head out Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now arriving in Crack Axle Canyon, the Six Flags Fiesta Texas Railroad. Thank you, worst nightmare. You are now in our most terrifying scare zone. Get ready as we are about to unleash the creatures of the night. It's time for It's now 7.10. I did all six houses here, saw their arrival. I would love to stay, but I need to make my way to SeaWorld for Hollow Scream because their house is just open. So I'm hoping it is a light Friday for Hollow Scream still. And they are checking IDs. Now, let me try and remember where I parked and then run to Hollow Scream. Should be about a 20 to 30 minute drive depending on the traffic. All 
right, made it to SeaWorld for Hollow Scream. Gonna see how many houses I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna save definitely Disassembly and Bunny Bradley's for last. I'm gonna go to Atlantis first to see how long that line is. I feel like people tend to forget about Milton Creek and Zombie Horde maybe. So I'm just hoping those ones aren't busy. So uh, yeah, there's Atlantis, Milton Creek Manor, Zombie Horde, Bunny Bradley, Disassembly, and the Swamp. So we'll see. And I don't plan on doing any of the shows or anything like that so yeah we're gonna see how fast i can knock these out in a little over two hours oh. <laughs> all right so lannis there was a bit of a line there i'm gonna skip it for now i'm gonna go down to milton creek and hope that that isn't terribly busy. Hello. Back again in Ripperell. Yes. I'm starting to suspect your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> See what the wait for Milton Creek Manor is like because it is kind of tucked back here. Ah, oh, the wait says 30 minutes. You know what it is? That's eight. So I'll, I will see. <laughs> All right, just got done done with Milton Creek Manor. It was my first house of public screen for tonight. Only took about 20, 15 to 20 minutes to wait in line for. Luckily, there's not a lot of quick queues or front of the line passes. But I think I made an error. The show just let out. The monster stomp just let out. So I think the lines just built up. Uh, we'll see. Okay, no, no. Zombie Horde it says a five minute wait, which I don't remember them doing this last week, but that is awesome. They're starting to put these out. So Zombie Horde was way too crowded. It said five minute wait. I got there probably a little too late to catch that. But I'm going to swing back around to Atlantis. Uh, I'm not hopeful on that one either. So I might have to run to the swamp. Actually, I might be in luck from this view. Atlantis doesn't look like there's hardly a line at all. You look familiar. That was here a few weeks ago. Right now. Are you going to find Atlantis? Uh, hopefully. You'll let me know how that goes. All right. Let's see what happens to me. <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. This is a much shorter wait than what was that zombie horde, so. Let's get this done.
got Atlantis, the Cursed Chasm knocked out. I'm gonna go back and check on Zombie Horde, see if it's died down a little bit. If not, I'm gonna run to the swamp. But it is about 8.30, so that really helped. Atlantis really helped on cutting down on the time, so I have four more to go. Zombie Horde is a no-go, so to the swamp. I got that. <laughs> Why, it's a oh my God. Okay. This line doesn't look terrible, so I'm gonna go for this one. got done with the swamp wasn't too bad of a wait it is 8:53. checked out uh disassembly there was quite a bit of a line so i'm gonna go check bunny bradley and then also um zombie horde just to see what those weights look like So I think I just have Zombie Horde, Disassembly, and Bunny Bradley's left. I'm making a dash over to Zombie Horde, hoping that one is not a long line. Disassembly should die down around 9.15, 9.30. And then I'm hoping Bunny Bradley isn't a long wait after that. I'm power walking all over the place. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any better. I'm just gonna have to it says 15, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and hope for 15. Oh, and uh, you, the media, huh? Yeah, sorry. I already knew. <laughs> Find out for yourself, man. <laughs> Got Zombie Horde out of the way. That wasn't terrible. Oh, hang on, hit my step goal. It is 9.20, so yeah, it was about 15-ish minute wait. And then the walk, the walk, that's like the longest house to walk through. So now I have Bunny Bradley's and Disassembly. Not sure exactly which one I should hit up first because if it's a 30-minute wait, I might be fine. To hit both of them up, that is. So I'm not convinced that this is gonna be a small wait. So it's 15 minutes, but I'm gonna go see what disassembly is and then run back. Disassembly, hopefully it's no more than a 15 minute wait because I can't afford anything more than that right now. It is so 30, let's see if that's correct. I don't think they've changed that out in a while. Oh yeah, it's a walk up. Yeah, barely a wait. Should be fine. <laughs> oh no! I can't. Uh, you don't look like you can walk. Oh. 
It is 9.38. I only have Bunny Bradley's left. Hopefully it is not closed early for whatever reason. Gonna run over there, get in line, get it done, accomplish all 12 houses in San Antonio in one night. 15 minute wait for Bunny Bradley's. Gonna go get some ice cream. I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> so just got done with bunny bradley's the park just closed i have i finished with like two minutes left to go before the park closed at 10 but it's a fun night got all the houses done um the music is blaring over here man so a very tired randall did film an outro and i didn't like that so instead you're getting a randall who edited for like hours now so it was kind of a little too loud to film anything as i was walking out but i had a great time both at fright fest and hollow scream i'm actually very surprised i got through all 12 houses um i wasn't too surprised at fright fest because it was friday those lines tend to be short on a friday hollow scream i was i was worried about but i was able to get them done so you know, i just want to give a big thank you to all the scare actors for doing a great job as always if you can make it out to these theme parks. Um, if you can't though, I uh, did want to shout out, so the Corky Coaster Couple, they actually were allowed to walk through some of the houses of Fright Fest and film them. So if you want to catch those, you can catch them there. And I, and I believe they also have some uh, Hollow Scream houses posted. And also Random Bids 5, he posts walkthroughs of Hollow Scream and then also the shows from Fright Fest at Six Flags Fiesta Texas and some of the shows at Hollow Scream San Antonio as well. But just want to say thank you for watching. I know this was a little bit longer one, but uh, it was all at 12 houses. What can I say? <laughs> thank you for watching and until next time, see y'all. Oh yeah, don't forget to hydrate. Bye. About to start part two, it is. Scare actor out here.